Konnichiwa, Nita Squad. It is your boy Incom back with another Death Bear Reaction video. And today for you guys, we have We Wes Wees, how do you say it, versus Metrosu, Metrosuru, Ruby versus Persona. I, I know I probably butchered both of those names. But anyway, guys, um, quick disclaimer before we get started. Um, I know I've been doing death battles like, you know, here and there or whatever, but for some reason, the, the re most recent um, death battles, I'm probably going to try to bring up a screenshot of this on my channel, but. For some reason the last few uh, death balls I've done they got copyrighted on it so that means it's not it doesn't show as good or it doesn't get monetized or something like that. Though I don't I can't I'm not even eligible for monetization yet until I get like uh basically like six hundred more subscribers, something like that, and get like a uh, a good a good truck total of like watch time and stuff like that, then they gotta check my stuff, whatever, blah blah blah. That's like a whole a whole nother issue, whole another day to explain all that. But anyway, the basis of this disclaimer just telling you guys it, I'm gonna try this again one more time with this death battle, I'm gonna try to edit around some of these parts. But if it still comes back and it says it's copyrighted again to where it's not gonna get a lot of views and stuff like that, I might just start watching this on my own time and not really just upload it because I really like to wait and upload these and show it to you guys. But if it's gonna keep on doing the copyright stuff, then I ain't, uh, it's no point me keep uploading it because it's just a waste of waste of time me um, editing and, and, and recording and stuff like that. But anyway guys, uh, hopefully it doesn't really take that long. As far as you know, doing my edits and stuff like that, and hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted or whatever, because I'm a reaction channel and a gaming channel, so you know, do trying to do your reactions and getting copyrighted is kind of like null and void in any way. But anyway, guys, uh, let's hop right to it. So, like. Today, we're pitting together two queens of ice born into powerful, if troubled, families. Weiss Snee, heiress to the Weiss, okay. So, both these people, so both these women got ice. And Mitsuru okay. Kirijo, Mitsuru. Oh, sorry, I was right the first time I said Mitsuru Ogun. Wielding seeds. He's with an iron boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> uh, so green. The vicious creatures called Grim. The well, I know I can't dance. I'm be so stiff. And the Schnee family. Schnee. Kind of like royalty. Schnee. Princess is like Schnee. Get it? Schnee. As the heiress to the family company, she grew up in a pretty cold home. Pun intended. The Schnee family expected a lot from Weiss. It was Far considered essential right. that she live up to their highly influential name. Too bad for them. She had her own plan. Rejecting her father's wishes to remain at home, Weiss left to attend Beacon Academy and train to become a huntress, literally putting the W in Team Ruby. Within just a year, Weiss established her own name for herself, saving the kingdom on more than one occasion. And I forgot, because I know Persona is a game and they turned it into an anime. Is this an anime or is this a game? With a three foot long blade. But guess what? It's also a gun! Instead of a plain old cross guard, it's got a six slot revolver style chamber that Weiss fills with bullets colored like the rainbow. Well, they're not exactly bullets. They are vials of dust, which she can fire to enhance her weapon and skills. Ironically, the Schnee Dust Company is by far one of the largest producers and exporters of dust. Wait, wait, wait. They sell dust? I got a ton of that shit covering the bookshelf in my trailer. I could sell it and finally have enough money to buy. A second bookshelf! Just farm, here I come! No, not that kind of dust. In the world of Remnant, dust is an energy source often used to fuel vehicles, androids, and weapons. Wait, you have books? When did I say anything about books? Well, long story short, there are four main types of dust. Air, lightning, fire, and water. And Weiss likes to mix water and air together for her favorite, ice dust. And that is why they call See, I don't dust. know anything about this fire launch a windstorm block attacks with barriers and many many other techniques needless to say mirtonaster is a surprisingly versatile weapon she also uses dust to boost her semblance which is basically her x-men superpower 
Weiss gets hers from her family line and can do a bunch of stuff with it. She can make glyphs on surfaces or in the air, each with a different color to glyphs, huh? ability. Black glyphs hold things in place while white ones propel things forward. Also, by infusing glyphs with dust, she can manipulate their effects. For example, a touch of lightning dust lets her dilate time, dramatically increasing her speed. Or even better, she oh, can snap. use the glyphs to summon monsters to aid her in battle. Beastmaster. Also, she can kind of like do summons in, in a sense. A giant killer wasp and the Armagigas. Which Armagigas? That actually Arma sounds pretty lit. Armagigas. So that sounds lit. Damn! Just imagine how great her family could be if they all didn't hate each other. Unlimited dust, giant bodyguards you can summon any time, and they'd never be stuck with warm beer. Unfortunately, the Schnee family does suffer from some rocky relations. <laughs> they wouldn't be stuck with cold. Wait, 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 go back. Is her dad Colonel Sanders? I guess there's a certain resemblance. AFC, KF, Schnee? No wonder they're so rich. Where did you get that chicken? What? You don't carry pocket chicken? Pocket chicken? Weiss has a very powerful and versatile ability, and like most semblances, it's powered by her aura. Which is like an invisible shield around her body. She's basically unkillable while it's up. Though the aura itself isn't indestructible, it can be depleted after taking a lot of damage and needs time to restore itself. Without it, she cannot use her semblance. And she okay, that might be to her downfall. See, it's like you gotta like kind of take the key little moments and stuff you hear. That might be to a downfall. Lava can reach temperatures up to 1200 degrees Celsius, enough to melt iron. And during a food fight of all things, she was thrown into a pillar so hard it was obliterated. Hey Wiz, I've been in a few food fights in my time and that shit gets intense. And that one's tame by comparison. But greatest of all, with a combination of ice and her aura, she survived riding atop a speeding train crashing through concrete. By measuring the diameter of the resulting hole and applying the values of fragmentation, this means Weiss survived an impact equal to over seven tons of TNT. But it's not just Weiss that's tough. That shows how adorable she is. Seven tons of TNT. And with her ice powers, she's knocked around a giant mech built for fighting Godzilla-sized Grimm. Compared to the height of her teammate nearby, it appears she created over 2,000 metric tons of ice. Obviously, that much ice doesn't fit into two vials of dust. She's likely using the ocean as a base to exert fusion energy and vaporization energy on the nitrogen in the air, thereby freezing it like so. At most, this would require over 900 billion joules of energy, equivalent to detonating around 230 tons of TNT. Wow! No wonder she get All right, so I need to keep that in mind. Four tons of TNT for durability, 231.5 tons of TNT can she outputs. So I have to keep that in mind. Stay nearly untouchable while taking out her opponents in the blink of an eye. Like that old saying, float like an inner tube on a lazy river and sting like your pee in the morning. Please go to a doctor. Throughout her journey, Weiss has overcome all sorts of dangers, but her most difficult task may have been the moment her father cut her out of the family leaving her financially broke and dismissed from her birthright. Ah, boo-hoo, no more allowance. Still, she's powered through and made a name for herself as a huntress. With the Ruby team at her back, I think she's found the family she truly belongs to. One of them other two gonna get um, a battle too. Because we've seen the other one at the fist fight. I'm more than a name. In the early 2000s, you'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Japan who didn't know of the Kirijo Group, a global conglomerate involved in nearly every aspect of daily life. And the heiress to this impressive company was a young girl named Mitsuru Kirijo. But unknown to her, the family company was into some pretty sketchy stuff. Her grandpa started experimenting with some sort of mental world called the Mind Place. Or more officially, the collective unconscious, a realm connected to everything. So I'm just trying to just like understand stuff because I really don't know a lot about both worlds. Like I know a little bit about Persona, but not a lot. And Ruby, nothing. They're basically demons. Kind of. However, there's another sort more directly integrated with the minds of individual people, effectively becoming their shadow selves. So some of them are demons who want to kill you, and some of them are demons who are part of your brain? Eh, close enough. Well, Gramps tried to get the shadows for himself, but as anyone who's tried to summon demons will tell you, don't, don't do that. Trust me, it never works out. And when it does, it doesn't. Chaos Incarnate erupted. 
The resulting explosion from his experiment released the shadows into reality to prey on an unsuspecting populace and unveiled the Tartarus. I just trying, I'm just trying, I'm right, so I'm trying to get all of this stuff into my head before I make this decision who's gonna win this. Most folks didn't notice though. The world basically freezes in time during the dark hour, including people. So nobody's got to pick up a new 25 hour clock, because when the hour runs up, everything continues like nothing happened. It's like getting an extra hour of secret sleep. But some people are able to operate during this hour, including Mitsuru, which she decided to take full advantage of. Yeah, she felt pretty guilty about her family basically ruining everything and sending hundreds of murder monsters into the world. So she swore to fix her grandpappy's mess. And while she's certainly skilled with a rapier thanks to her time in fencing club, a single Oh, they both uses uh ice and uses the rapier. Okay. Experience with the dark hour. How like what do they have in common, but That's now you see way to put it. She and her dad were almost murdered by spooky shadows. But this event also led to an awakening. With the threat of death itself mere seconds away, Mitsuru dug deep within and found a new weapon. The shadow self. And that's how she became a person user. Persona user. Yes, a said. person user. Not life, persona, a person a user. Of her personality known as a persona. This was Penthesilia, who would eventually evolve into her ultimate form, Artemisia. Artie is the best non-imaginary friend you could ask for. She's got all sorts of powerful ice spells. She can heal Mitsuru. That game is fun. That game is really fun. Mary Blaine, yep. And she can blow people up with mega deal of, uh, It's a big purple kaboom that ignores special defenses. Anyway, and to top it all up, she's got a kinky ice whip. While Artemisia cannot really be killed, she does have her limits. When a persona is overtaxed or takes too much damage, it becomes broken and unusable for a short time. And since Artemisia is technically part of Mitsuru's mind, when the persona gets hurt, so does she. But this connection also grants Mitsuru her own set of special powers. She's physically superior to most others. She can also sense the locations of people and layouts of buildings through analytical clairvoyance. She's also immune to ice and the cold, so I'm not really sure why she needs a giant fur coat. Everyone needs a good fur coat, Wiz. Come on. Uh, I guess. It is a pretty nice coat. Anyway, Mitsuru wasn't going into battle alone. She gathered a team of Persona users to form the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, or SEEDS, which is much easier to say. The team set out to explore Tartarus, combat the shadows, and put an end to the Dark Hour, while also scoring some extra credit because it was technically an after-school club. Japanese schools are way more hardcore than ours. And with a team at her back, Mitsuru needed a tool to reliably summon Personas with. And so came the Evoker, which might be a little disturbing to some people. The so Invoker. Fair warning. Yeah, it looks just like a gun, and that's kind of the point. The idea is to use the gun to create an extremely traumatic experience similar to how Mitsuru first evoked her own persona. Specifically, this is accomplished by aiming the thing at your face and pulling the trigger. Yeah, that's definitely not how guns are supposed to work. Questionable. What? Aside, Mitsuru and her persona are an No, man. What? Oh, God. Did she just cut off that thing's dick? Yes, she did, Boomstick. And it was a goddamn cannon. Oh, the horror, but also cannon dick. Mitsuru is quick enough to dodge gunfire. Heck, another Persona user is even... That just hurts. You see, that just hurts as a guy. ...have a muzzle velocity of over 360 meters per second. And Personas can move even faster. Neotos could react to and catch an arrow in milliseconds. And Mitsuru has defeated her in battle. But hey, how about that time Mitsuru and her whole team survived an explosion that totally wrecked this whole bridge? Now, uh, <clears throat> in my humble opinion, using my very own handcrafted munitions measurement chart, I'd say this blast ball is somewhere in the range of, oh shit, we're dead. Interesting, but let's use some real science now. This is real science. I tested explosions and their real effects on real people, just like you would. I'm a real scientist now. <clears throat> but that's... Wait, real people? Boomstick? Where are the interns? Uh, I, hey, look, I got you that coat that you wanted. Ooh, thank you. He killed the interns. But hey, uh, Wiz, there's one more math thing you gotta do. Wait, Don't gonna ever trust Boomstick. Yukuri, if it takes you to come somewhere. Giant creepy puppet monster. 
Well, again, taking nitrogen into account as it comprises 70% of air's makeup, we can apply its required fusion energy and vaporization energy. To find this feat would need an energy output equal to 60 kilotons of TNT. Though this can't all be attributed to Mitsuru as she did have help. That's still a hell of a lot of ice. Mitsuru and Artemisia sure make a powerful Sissy, but and she needed help. Ending the dark hour and redeeming Saw, her family um, name, Mitsuru continued battling for people everywhere, one shadow at a time. This appears to be just the beginning. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, I'm all out of pocket chicken, so let's get something better with Blue Apron. Us are right, so I'm going to actually edit this to where we get to here now. So it's um, skipping that Blue Apron ad. But anyway, uh, this will be short and simple. I'm gonna say um, the girl from Ruby Weiss is going to actually win this because they they said that fee about Miss Ru with the uh kilotons worth of tnt but she said they said she needed help and usually when they say that they usually wait to the end and say oh did she need the help for this so i'm gonna take into account that that didn't mean that her full force was within that um that calculation that they had did and also as well her persona if it breaks she's basically you know messed up but we, we as well if she takes too much damage, then that shield goes away for her. But I think that we is going to be able to get it done faster than what Miss Ruby will be up to. But let's see, though. I'm going to get right to it. So. Oh, I like this. I like this engine. Was he already fighting everything? I like this animation. It's like wrapping up is so caliber with the rapier. That's what it reminds me of. Fighting you ice. Ironic. And a waste of time. Artemisia! With that whip, though, that thing sounds like it's painful. It really comes to Miss Ru if she's gonna win with her persona though. Her persona has to break, I think. Oh, well, this doesn't look good. Or my pit. Well, oh, I was wrong. Well, Wiz, glad we got these 
coach, because that was cool. Weiss was incredibly skilled. Her versatility certainly proved a challenge for Mitsuru, and she held a decent advantage in speed thanks to time dilation. Though to be fair, I think the last time Ruby character lost, so just one one. Difficult for Weiss to get the jump on her. Plus, Naoto's persona had to move around Mach 7 to catch that arrow in such a short amount of time, so Artemisia must be capable of similar speeds. Yeah, but slowing down time seems like an instant win move, doesn't it? In some ways, yes, but we look for who can win the most matches overall, not just a couple times out of a thousand possibilities thanks to one good move. Yeah, even though Weiss had plenty of attack options, Mitsuru's defenses were just too strong. Like how she completely cancelled Weiss's ice attacks. This presented a unique problem for Weiss, who has always been fairly reliant on ice techniques. She was forced to use dust which she has less experience with. Plus, Weiss and her summons have never dealt damage anywhere close to that oh shit we're dead explosion that Mitsuru survived. By taking uh, okay, the that makes sense. Here, comparing it to real life nukes, then considering how far Mitsuru was from the center of it, she took a hit worth over 21 tons of TNT. Definitely higher than Weiss's 7 ton train fee. Frankly, Mitsuru's survivability and power output outclassed Weiss. Even if we cut her major ice feet in half since she was aided by Yukari, Mitsuru still output 130 times more energy than Weiss when she attacked that mech. But numbers aren't everything, right? Sure, there's always a new way to look at things. For instance, and that's why she banked it off of, but now it makes sense. Dust supply, while Mitsuru had no such constraint on her own power. It takes a long time to restore aura, and remember, when a persona gets broken, it can just come back a few seconds later. Which was extremely useful, as Artemisia could heal Mitsuru at any time, undoing whatever progress Weiss had made. Oh man, what an ice cold move! While Weiss's speed and versatility put up a good fight, Mitsuru's great <laughs> got the interns. F to the hey, type to F to the chat for the interns. No the winner is Mitsuru Kirijo. Hey, thanks for watching Death Battle. Don't go away just yet. We're about to announce the next fight. And if you haven't seen the latest episode of our podcast, The Death Battle Cast, you can click it right there. That's right, Giant Cage versus Captain Fucking. Right, right, right. Giant Cage versus Captain Fucking. I, I, that's right, because I did. I got it up on my screen right now. I was like, who is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, initial reaction on that one? Unless I don't know something about Captain Falcon? I'm gonna say Johnny Cage for now, but you gotta leave the billions and all that. But I was wrong for, um, Weez and stuff. Misru, I forgot me playing the Persona games. Yeah, they do come back, like, within a few seconds. And I, the, really, the bad thing I really banked it off of was they saying that, oh, she had, she had help for when she no attack that giant statue or use that giant statue wherever it was so i really was like oh she probably used only was like a quarter of that strength or whatever but still even with that it was still stronger than anything that voice ever had um deal with but anyway guys um like i say up next will be the captain falcon and johnny cage one if like if this don't get copyrighted because usually they don't get copyrighted but if this gets copyrighted again then most likely i probably won't be doing no more um death bells anymore but anyway, guys, uh, if you like this, slap a like on this video. You guys do enjoy the content. Um, share the video where you share cool stuff, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Also, as well, if you're new to this channel, it's the first time you ever watch one of my videos, subscribe if you're new. Also, as well, hit the bell notification to get actually know every time I make a future upload. So, without further ado, guys, you guys have a good one, people. Incog, I am out. Peace.